So this summer, my mother is getting new internet installed in her house. And in order to actually go forward with the installation, um, internet uh, wiring needs to go through my old bedroom, which meant I finally had to clean out all my old stuff after moving out eight years ago. Uh, and this is the result. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but... I have a lot of DVDs, books, video games, all that stuff. Let's have a look at them. Let's take a look at the books first. Um, some of these have been here for a while now, like Three Times Carlin, the Disney book, uh, the Encyclopedia of Monsters. But a fair number of this actually came from that clean-out. Um, most of the VHS collection has remained the same. Um, I've, I've had to make a few changes, obviously. And one thing I did find was the original box for Tom and Jerry Volume 1. If you've seen more Tom and Jerry, you'll know that the VHS tape in that does not have a case. So I finally, I finally found it. Two years after buying a new one. And then when it came to the rest of my books, I mean, I'm limited for space, so... I had to make a few changes, obviously. And then I, I had to figure out how I'd want to organize them. So I, f I figured I'd try fiction and non-fiction. So if, these, are, these are the fictional books here. I've got Holes, a couple of Jules Verne books. You can thank Back to the Future for introducing me to Jules Verne. I've got Roald Dahl. I mean, yes, he's a, 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 a very controversial figure these days, but I couldn't throw these out. I've got some Simpsons books. I, I used to read these in high school and they were amazing. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, let's see. I've, I've got a couple Back to the Future books that I couldn't throw out, obviously. The, um, how do you pronounce that? The Usborn uh, Illustrated Dictionary. That was fascinating, so I couldn't get rid of that. I've got a Michael J. Fox autobiography. I'm not much of an autobiography guy, but Michael J. Fox is my favorite actor. So, and I've seen his um, his documentary film um, about Parkinson's. It's on Apple TV. It's a fascinating watch. Uh, movie facts and feats. It's just stuff about movie about movies, really. And yeah, I think it'd be interesting enough to keep. Yeah, uh, this is brand new. Uh, George Carlin, Last Words. I mean, obviously, I have his other books. I have his DVDs. So I, I couldn't pass this up, obviously. This wasn't in the move. This is something I actually bought recently. Uh, Student Atlas. I think this is from high school. Because um, I took geography for a couple of years. And yeah, I figured it's incredibly grubby as well. Yeah, those are the books. Also, Tom's here. He's guarding the miscellaneous videos and yeah like model railways needs guarding next i want to look at some plushies um i'm not much of a plushie collector these days that's more my, my wife's area but uh, there were some i couldn't say no to um i'll start with the, the most important one this pink rabbit um i actually got him uh, or her i don't know she's pink so she may be a girl uh, i got this one the day i was born uh over 30 years ago so yeah, I've had this since I was a day old, so obviously I couldn't throw that one away. Sticking with uh, rabbits, this is Bugs Bunny. I, I don't know how long I've had him, um, but he's probably been there since Looney Tunes Back in Action came out. And, you know, like I say, I don't really care for plushies these days, but I, I couldn't say no to this, and... He's got a broken neck. <laughs> so yeah, I have Bugs Bunny. Now next we have a couple of lions. Um, the father's got a bashed nose. Um, these actually date back to, I think, 2001. Um, I was in hospital uh, when I was eight years old. Getting, I have no idea what. Uh, my mother... Um, brings these two in to keep me company completely out of the blue and I remember I think I, I called the father Paul and I called the son James I don't I don't know why those names just came to me and then when I found them um, 
during the clean out, um, I couldn't say no to them. I'm very sentimental for them. So I remember I found the father, the adult first, and then I told, and then I told my mother, if you're doing, if you're doing, if you're cleaning out without uh, without me, if you find the ba- if you find the cub, do not throw him out. Fortunately, I was able to find him, and yeah, Paul and James, they're old. Next, we have a red dragon. Um, my wife um, bought me this when we were on holiday at one point, I think 2014, 2015, something in there, and all of a sudden I couldn't throw this out. And then, of course, we got this. Once again, my wife bought me this. Um, if you've seen the review, the Wacky Races Volume 1 review, I talk about going to Blackpool with a raging hangover. She she won me a bigger version of this. In It's one of those... Um, theme park stalls where you throw basketballs into a hoop, the more more points you score, the bigger the prize. She got me a bigger version of this. Um, And and her dog um, ended up claiming it and doing very unpleasant things to it. Use your imagination there. So I think a year later, uh, my in-laws took me back to Blackpool and she won me this smaller version and... Yeah, so this one I kept, her dog claimed the other one. So yeah, those are plushies. All right, moving on. Let's look at some DVDs. All right, let's do this. I have no idea how long this is going to go, and I apologize for the incredi- if the lighting looks bad. I'm recording this at about 10 o'clock at night. So let's see what we have. Thomas and his friends get along. Um, If you've seen Changes in Canada Part 2, you'll know I had, I think I had the case for this, but not the DVD. So, yeah, I have this and a lot of good it does now. The complete fourth season, um, it doesn't have a case. um, At least I don't think it does. And we'll see as we go along. Looney Tunes All-Star... Uh, volume 2, um, you, well, you know how much I love these. Uh, this is the original Portuguese disc. Uh, I bought 2004, 2005, something in there, and yeah, I love this. Um, All-Star Volume 2 was actually one of my favorites. So yeah, this was one of my favorite discs in my entire collection. We have our first video game, Thomas Saves the Day. Um... I bought this in Canada, I think. It was 2008. Um, Yeah, that's not the last time I'm going to be mentioning this. Um, Yeah, it's a fun game, but it's really short. Um, Yeah, I know it's the American version because it has the American voice actors. It doesn't have Michelangelo's. So, yeah, it's a good game, but it's very short. I think if if you know what to do, you could beat this in about 15, 20 minutes. Tonka Search and Rescue. Uh, Yeah, when I was a kid, I loved the Tonka games. Tonka Tonka Construction 1 and 2, Tonka Raceway, Tonka Search and Rescue. Tonka was a great franchise. We've got an Animaniacs disc. uh, Animaniacs Volume 3, Disc 2. Um, Yeah, I may have talked about this in my Animaniacs review. Um, Yeah, I collected the first three volumes of Animaniacs, and they were great. They were awesome. Haven't seen the remake the uh, revival yet yeah sure enough tonka search and rescue um yeah it's a great game you pl- you i forget what you do in this uh, you control a fire department i think tonka joe was a firefighter and maybe similar to the sodor island search and rescue center that's in the thompson friends cgi era i can't remember and i'm not gonna look it up and sure enough, the complete the complete first series. Um, I think this and season four. Uh, these are the two thousand and five uh, releases because I remember making videos in two thousand and seven, and I had to rip these discs. So yeah, I've had these at least and since two thousand and six. I'm also having to. I'm also skipping a lot of um, record uh, blank recordable CDs. Um, this is a CD I made of Greg Bissonette. Um I believe I ripped um, a DVD I have of him musical direct musical drumming in different styles, and I put them on CD because sure, why not? It's a great DVD. I just I don't know why I have it on CD. 
the Best of Bugs Bunny Volume 1. Yep, yeah, you know how much I love this, and... Yeah, it's an absolute classic. Um, obviously, there's no disc in it. It's it, it's in the main collection. Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. This is a, a re this is a fun Steve Martin movie. It's made in the eighties. It's it's a, it's like a film noir spoof. It, it, it borrows a lot from classic nineteen uh, forties crime th crime movies featuring Humphrey Bogart. I think Vincent Price is in there. Basically, name any. I think um, Cary Grant's in there as well. Basically, name any famous actor from the 1930s and 40s, and they're probably in this. More Looney Tunes. Um, All-Stars 1 and 4. Um, I don't... It, it, clearly, I bought it in, in Portugal, but I don't remember much about this one. I, I just remember having the first two, and... Yeah... But hey, you can't go wrong with these. If you if you want a Looney Tunes collection, buy the Golden Collection on DVD. That is as good as you're going to get. This is a Ringo Starr bootleg. I bought... It was on a website called I Offer. Um, in 1992, he did a documentary for the Disney Channel uh, in America. It was called Going Home. Um, yeah, because he played... In July 1992, he played the Liverpool Empire. It's a great venue. I saw Ringo there in 2011. And he did a documentary about, about about Liverpool. It's on YouTube, so you should be able to find it. Finally, one in a box. The complete second series. Yep, it's there. Season 2 is great. Finally, we've got a book. Uh, Back to the Future 2. Um, this is in, in really bad shape. Um, I collected all three Back to the Future books when I realised the novels were out there and... Yeah, I don't know if the other two are in this, but I've got part two at least. We have another video game, Microsoft Train Simulator. Now, I've got a funny story here. Um, I remember it was 2002, maybe 2003, when the, I heard about this game. Um, it cost £50. Pounds. Um, my mother told me I had to save up for it, and I got really hyped for this. I was in the... Uh, obviously, I was in... Full-on Thomas and Friends... Uh, uh, nerdiness about this and I didn't even know you could mod the characters into the game um, I just thought having a, ga a game where you can drive trains was great so I spent five weeks saving up for this it, like I said it cost £50 I installed the game and it doesn't work um, it was incompatible with whatever system I was using it was probably Windows XP at the time so I remember being gutted that this didn't work but yeah it's a fun game um if you followed me for probably since the beginning, you know, I did videos with Chris Thompson. Uh, well, he did the videos. I helped out with it, but the, the Microsoft Train Simulator videos, they were all his. And if you've kept up with me, you know, but the Supernatural 6, they were not Supernatural. They were just, it was just a name that stuck to a group of characters we created. So, yeah. Thomas and the Magic Railroad Print Studio. Um, yeah, this I probably got this about the time when the, the movie came out. Um, Instead of giving the movie its own video game, <laughs> this is what we get. And I spent a lot of time with it. I didn't print anything off. I just, I was just creating random garbage on it. And yeah, you could create. Oh God, I haven't, I haven't used this in about twenty years because there's nothing to do in it. Um, it's, it's basically like what you get with Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, whatever. Yeah, you can create uh, stationary related things on it, and yeah, it sucks. Hancock. Um, this is a really dumb superhero movie with Will Smith, and yeah, it exists. Oh god damn it! More 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 Looney Tunes. You know, at this point, I feel like I probably owned everything in that in the Golden Collection before I actually bought it in English. Um, the Best of Porky Volume Two. Um, at this point, I'm wondering how many. The Portuguese Looney Tunes DVDs I bought then because I was only in Portugal for about a week and I know I found most of them in the bargain bin and looking off to the right I can see another um, another DVD Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner so I don't even know how many I bought back then so yeah Porky Pig it's awesome we've got an old battered copy of The Simpsons uh, complete third season um all the discs are still in here 
That's great. Hold on. What's what? What condition are they in? They don't actually look that bad, but what the fuck happened to the case? Look at this. We've got a random uh, recordable DVD-R case. It's empty. Norbit. This is a really dumb Eddie Murphy movie. Um, it's not one of his best. It's really, really dumb. Um, hysterically funny. Debatable. The Fox and the Hound 25th Anniversary Collection. Um, oh, God. When did that come out? Um, oh, my wife loves this movie, so she would know. I think it was 1981. So this is from two, this will be from 2006. Um... Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. But yeah, Fox and the Hound, great Disney movie. Who wants to be a millionaire? Family Picture Edition, edition third edition, uh, third edition. It's, it's a DVD game. Uh, if you've seen Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, you know where this is going. Um, yeah, you put in your DVD player, you play with family. And based on this, there, I think there was at least four versions. No, there was five because they came up with one for the 10th anniversary. And I remember being hyped for that because it had clips from the first season. This was before they started airing on TV. In reruns, anyway. And, yeah. No disc. Whatever. Flushed Away. Another. Uh, it's a DreamWorks movie. Um, yeah, from the creators of Shrek. It's a thing. I haven't watched it in years. So, hey. Races, Rescues, and Runaways. This thing has been battered. Look at this. Oh, man. I don't know what happened. What happened here. I think... I think when I bought this in Canada, it, it was sealed in, in plastic, and I tried. I thought it was double layered, so I tried to pull off the rest of it. And Jesus Christ! Oh, oh, there's an extra disc in here. <laughs> so we've got races, rescues, and runaways, and the best of James. So yeah, this is a, you got Alec Baldwin for this. Um, you, you ask any Thomas and Friends fan who collects American DVDs, they'll probably praise this one. And it's got a decent say if you like Alec Baldwin. And of course, best of James. James is my favorite Thomas and Friends character, so... Hey. Uh, we've got some uh, DVDs for House. Um, I remember I took this to Canada. It would be when I bought the Thomas and Friends DVDs. Um, yeah, House is a great show. Um, it's on Amazon Prime. My, my wife and I were watching it a couple of weeks back, I think, and it, it holds up. It's one of the best shows out there. Awesome. Dukes of Hazard Volume One. I don't know if this is Season One. Um, it doesn't look like it. No, I don't think it is. Um, does it have anything on it? No, this is this is an incredibly vague DVD. But yeah, I did the review. You should go check it out. Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard is awesome. No, oh, we've got uh, another recordable DV, uh, another DVD RW. See, I like th these. Might be my favorite. Um, this might be my favorite brand of of recordable DVDs. I love the the look of this. This is what this is the same company that did the DVDs that the corrupt um, Thomas the Friends Marathon is on, and it's just a musical disc. Um, it's for a music class I once had. Shrek Forever After. Um, yeah, but it's uh, the fourth fourth uh, Shrek movie, and yeah, it's a thing. Um, the first two are the best, obviously. Yeah, we got more house, nothing to say there. Absolutely fabulous, The Last Show. Um, no disc in it. Yeah, Ab Fab's awesome. Um, I've been meaning to rewatch that. Um, it's, it's probably severely outdated, but... Yeah, Ab Fab. Tom's and Friends, Happy Little Helpers. Um, this is from season seven, I think. Um, oh, the lighting here is atrocious. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I can see season seven episodes on there. Uh, disc is not here. Of course it isn't. Why would it be? But yeah, there's a slip here uh, for all the episodes. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, this is Like Mike. It's from 2002, I think. It's got Brenda Song, Jonathan Lipnicki, Crispin Glover, Eugene Levy. Yeah, it's a fun basketball movie. It's where a kid, a, a, a homeless kid, um, discovers a pair of shoes that may have belonged to Michael Jordan. Um, I don't think the, the movie ever really explains it. And yeah, he, develop, he becomes super good at basketball. It's a, a really fun movie. It's Ventura, When Nature Calls, um, sequel to the original movie, and yeah, it's a thing, it's a thing.
Christmas with the Cranks. This box is filthy. It's a Christmas movie my wife and I watch every year, and it's not it's not a great movie, but we have to watch it because Tim Allen's awesome. Jamie Lee Curtis is fantastic. Dan Aykroyd. It's it's not a great movie, but we have to watch it. Ringo Starr live at Soundstage. Um, this was one of the first. Uh, live Ringo albums I ever bought and it's one of his best um, there are there are problems with it um, a few of the songs are badly mixed um, Back Off Boogaloo has added vocals um, Boys is sped up really badly and I Want to Be Your Man is missing the, its first verse um, but yeah Live at Soundstage, great album it has some of the best versions of many of his songs I believe this is another Simpsons set. Um, yep. Uh, oh god, I fucking hate blank DVDs like this. It's, it's all. It, this is almost as bad as those Halloween DVDs. Uh, it's classic, too hot for TV. I think I mentioned this in more in the second Simpsons uh, video I did for Video Memories. I'm pretty sure my dad owned these. And it's missing a disc, so... Yay. Okay, this is from Paramount. What is this? Oh, this might actually... I, okay, I've... Jackass, the movie, that might be my my wife's. Uh, she doesn't like Team America, and I don't think she's ever seen Beavis and Butthead, so... I don't know if this is mine. Um, I don't know why I have it. Oh, I found the second disc for Microsoft Train Simulator. Um, yeah, it was one of those games where... The setup files were on one disc and then everything else was on the second, and that was confusing. The Music of Your Life, 20 tracks to take you back. Um, Backstreet Boys, I don't know half of these songs here. Uh, Jessica Simpson, yep, okay. Yeah, awesome. Family Guy, Happy Freaking Christmas. Um, yeah. I probably have it. I well, I obviously have it. I don't think it's through there, but whatever. Oh, we're on a roll here. The complete third series of Thomas and Friends. I swear, I, I get a lot of shit for this um, because I say season three is my least favorite of the original five. It's not a bad season. It's just I don't care for it as much as the others. So, yeah, that's here. No disc. I don't hate season five. Season three. Uh, train si uh, Railway Simulator 2004. If you've s played Microsoft Train Simulator, you know of this. This is the other more popular version, I think. Uh, this is from 2004. Um, all the discs are still in it. I played the hell out of this. This is probably this was easier to get into and more flexible with your ID with whatever you wanted to do um, with the characters and such. And I'm probably it was probably easier to mod as well because you could. Because unlike um, MSTS, you could actually create your own layouts in this. Like, I mean, honestly, if you're a Thomas and Friends fan and you've played these games, you know of these solder routes that are out there, and yeah, they look great. So yeah, I played the hell out of this. It's still got the serial code in this. So yeah, if you ever want to pirate the 2004 version of this, there you go. Uh, the 40-year-old virgin. Um, yes, Steve Carell movie. I don't think it was the first one I ever saw of him. Uh, I, I probably saw Bruce Almighty before this, and yeah, the disc is still in this. How how, how damaged is this one? Oh, yeah, there's a fair few scratches in that one. Well, Pharrell, you're welcome, America. This is his. This is a broad a Broadway show with where he reprised his role as he he did an imitation of George Bush on Saturday Night Live, and this is this is a great show, which I don't have the disc for. Shocker. Create your own model railways. I don't remember what this was. Um, and once again, the disc is filthy. Jesus Christ. What I, I don't know what I was doing as a kid, but I'm cringing at, at how grubby these DVDs are. Uh, I don't know what this was. Um, maybe it's similar to what I used in the model railways video. Um, yeah. I don't know what this was. The Italian Job. Um, this was probably my, the first... Um, copy of the movie I had. Um, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, yeah, my dad introduced me to this and I've loved it ever since. The Simpsons Uncensored Family Album. Um, yeah, it looks like a, a random book of um, Simpsons stuff. 
Yeah, I'm, I probably toss this in with the DVDs and I forgot to put it away. So, yeah. yeah. Penny and Stocking d uh, Disc 1. Uh, my, my wife and one of her friends loves this. It's a really crude anime. Um, and I, I, I never really got it until we rewatched it like a few weeks back. And I, 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 it, was, it really grew on me. So, yeah, this is probably one of the dumbest shows I have ever seen, uh, but it's a lot of fun. We've got some DVDs of Rescue Me. Um, this is these two are of, the, are of the first season. This is from season five. Um, I don't know if I've, I've ever talked about Rescue Me outside of a media collection video, but it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a great show. Oh, we've we've got another Simpsons book, uh, Comics Extravaganza. Like I said, I watched the, I read the books in high school, and yeah, these these, these were excellent. Um, I love the Simpsons. Okay, time to talk Thomas and Friends narrators. So we've got the, the best of Ringo Starr and his all-star band. Um, if you have the anthology CDs, this is a DVD version of it. It doesn't have as many songs or even the same, but yeah, if you, if you basically want a highlights package, there you go. And then we've got George Carlin doing it again. This is an HBO show from 1990. And it's not one of his best, but it's great. <laughs> On the note of George, we've got George Carlin is bad for you. This was his last show um, in 2008, um, made only a few months before he died. And it's one of my favorites. Um, it's actually one of the, f I think it's his one of two HBO shows I have, I can recite his uh, comedy bits word for word. Yeah, it's bad for you. It's bad for you is one of his best. Liar Liar, a classic uh, Jim Carrey movie up there with The Mask and Ace Ventura. Uh, Little Britain, uh, the radio series. Um, this is series two. Um, yep, the discs seem to be here. Yep, awesome. Yeah, it's basically the radio version of the TV show. Came out before the TV show, actually. Rage Against the Machine, this is not mine. Cats 4, this was a pet simulator, and it, it's very old. Um, but I got, I really got into it because I, I was raised on cats. Um, it's basically just a glorified pet simulator that you can still probably still play today. Um, yeah, Lion King, the animated storybook. Um, these were these were this was excellent back in the day. I had this in a Toy Story version, and the Toy Story disc broke, and I hated that because that was probably the best animated storybook out there. But yeah, you've seen the the uh, commercials for this. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, if you were back in, if you were there in the nineties and you wanted to read along to. The Lion King and instead of watching the movie. Um, yeah, this was great. This was a lot of fun. Sticking with Lion King. Uh, Lion King... Uh, oh, it's Lion King 2, actually. It's active play. Uh, I don't think this is the activity center. It would probably say, but I don't think I ever played this this much. Windows 95. The movie came out in 1998. Why the fuck is it advertising Windows 95? Essential. The Power of Rock. Um... Yeah, as you've probably seen by now, there's a VH1. Uh, there's a couple of VH1 uh, videos in Recordable Fridays, and they promote these kind of albums a lot. Um, yeah, Journey, Toto, Alice Cooper, Audio Speedwagon. Yeah, that's great. Mr. Mr. Uh, Kiri, one of my favorite songs of all time. Rosanna from Toto, Men at Work from Down Under. Coincidentally, a lot of people, a lot of songs you've, se you've seen, <laughs> if you've seen Ringo Starr, because right now, you got Steve Lukather and Colin Hay and Ringo's All Star Band. They do they do Rosanna and Down Under at the same point in each show. Bad English when I see you smile. My wife loves Alice Cooper, so it's cool to see that. Yeah, this looks like a great a great collection of songs. Air Supply, Out, All That I Love, one of my favorites. Yeah, this is great. Uh, Pierre Frampton, uh, Frampton Comes Alive. Pierre Frampton's one of the greatest guitar players out there. And do you feel like we do? One of my all-time favorites. Oh, long live Pierre Frampton. More Rescue Me. Um, these were these would have been my original DVDs before I bought the complete collection. And I, feel, I think this probably had better pr uh, packaging than the actual complete collection. I've probably shown that off before, but... You, basically, in, the, in those boxes, you, you stack the discs on top of... They're basically in a giant, a giant stack of discs, and it's horrifically packaged. While the Coyote, um, I think this is my wife's. Um, I've got a, a Bugs... Uh, a, a, a Roadrunner, and I think it's Daffy Duck. 
Um, yeah, this is probably my wife's because she loves the Roadrunner. More Dukes of Hazard, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I used to collect this as a great show, obviously. Toy Story, nothing to say there. Toy Story is one of the greatest movies of all time. Yep, sure enough, I knew it. I knew it. I had I had more part ones probably in there somewhere. Back to the Future Part Three, uh, tied for the best. Um, maybe I'll talk about Back to the Future again one day. You never know. Oh, it's another release of Train Simulator Passenger Edition. I guess there's something different in this. No disc, shame. Okay, this is a box set for Scrubs. Um, my wife loved loves this show. Um, I feel like it overstayed its welcome. Uh, it, it's, it ran for maybe two or three seasons longer than it should have. So, But yeah, the early seasons of Scrubs, pretty good. Okay, there isn't much to this, but this is a box set that had... Po uh, Mewtwo Returns and Pokemon Volume Eleven: The Great The Great Race. Um, yeah, vo Volume Eleven. This is probably where it came from. Um, with my original copy of Mewtwo Returns. Awesome. Oh, now we're getting into the thick of it. Steamies versus Diesels and other adventures. How many American DVDs did I buy in that one visit to America? I swear, I I probably cleaned out the whole fucking Walmart with this. Oh. Because they were, at, they were, there were lots of them there, and yeah, uh, Simmies versus Diesels at season eight. I, I like I said in Fairwell Thomas, I will defend season eight. Um, although honestly, only four episodes—that's pretty lacking, really. But yeah, hey, you got you got uh, you got trivia games, uh, you got regular TV games, you got songs. It's something at least, but really, there should be more than four episodes. Okay, something personal here. This is my grandfather. Um, I, I didn't know I had this photo when I did the Model Railways video, but th this is the guy who inspired me into Model Railways, and yeah, I owe, I owe him a lot. We've got we've got a second version of Ringo Starr um, soundstage. And the case is cracked, and there are a couple of bootlegged CDs in here. Yeah, the very best of Thomas and Friends. Um, there's nothing in here, obviously. I didn't have the case when I reviewed this. How long ago did I review this? Was it 2018 I did this? Um, yeah, the best Thomas and Friends DVD out there, and yeah, I got this. I can spot that logo. I got this from Asda, so yeah, great DVD. School of Rock widescreen uh, collection. This is 2003. This would have been around the time when White screen and full screen were still there, but full screen is obviously misleading because it's not full screen, especially when you have a rectangular TV. And yeah, School of Rock, good movie. Little Nicky, um, probably the first Adam Sandler movie I ever saw, and yeah, it's terrible, but most of his movies do. <laughs> most of his movies are terrible. George Carlin brain droppings. Uh, his audiobooks are excellent. No discs, of course. Um, yeah. George Carlin, you cannot go wrong with him. We've got a big stack of um, unchecked discs. Uh, Ace Ventura When Nature Calls, Mickey's Magical Christmas. I was probably looking for this when I was planning to do the review for it, which you'll see comes come December. Die Hard 4, It Sucks, Blank CD, Johnny English, Fun Spy Movie, Blank, Blank. Oh, there's one of the discs for brain droppings. Excellent, how damaged is it? Not badly, actually. Uh, Pink Panther Season 1. Yeah, Pink Panther was a fun show. Oh, George Carlin Complaints and Grievances. Uh, I'll be concerned about this, but I've got other discs for it. Flight Unlimited 3 is a flight simulator. Crap. House. Happy Gilmore. Probably the best Adam Sandler movie out there. Uh, oh, the complete third uh, series uh, disc. Uh, I don't know where the box set is for that. But yeah, big stack there. Die Hard with a Vengeance, um, third Die Hard movie. Used to be my favorite, but honestly, the more I watch the original movie at Christmas, I've grown to appreciate that one more. Oh, looky, looky, I found the disc for Happy Little Helpers. Excellent. Uh, the complete fourth series of Thomas and Friends, and inside we have The Little Mermaid. Yay. I don't know why I have it. I don't really like Little Mermaid that much. Emerson, Lake and Palmer, live at the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, ELP, um, very creative, uh, talented group of musicians. Yeah, another Thomas DVD, Thomas's Trusty Friends. I thought I binned a lot of these DVDs, but no, they've just been gathering dust. And 
yeah, I spoke highly of this in in um, in this of this group of episode, episodes in Farewell Thomas. Um, yeah, the Jack and the Pack episodes they were probably they were better than season season seven because a, a fair bit of the budget went to this. And yeah, this was this was a lot of fun. We got some PlayStation games. Driver Two, probably it was my favorite uh, PlayStation game at, at, at the time. Um, yeah, uh, Jimmy Pills Cue Ball is a um, pull and snooker game. Terrific game, love that. And they were not done. All aboard with the Steam Team. Um, oh, the, what season was this? Um, season eight. Yeah. See, the, unlike Steamies versus Diesels, this could have fit a lot more. They, they've got six episodes here. Probably some music as well. Hey, the disc is in here. What is this? Angelina Ballerina. Brand new DVD and video. Terrific. Don't care. Okay, this this is the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie. I reviewed it. It's a, it's a basically a showcase of Chuck Jones's uh, creations. Awesome. Yeah, that's the thing. Next in here, this is a fishes game. I do, uh, uh, well, it's a three D, a virtual three D aquarium. That is a. I had that as a screensaver at one point and. If you uh, if you had um, Finding Nemo on DVD, at least the old editions, uh, you could turn you could turn off the main menus and turn it into an actual uh, screensaver. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think this just mostly worked as no. This was actually a pet simulator. You could actually do things with this. Yeah, Starsky and Hutch um, saw the TV show. It was on Granada. Um, yeah, Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, great combo. Yeah, Kim Possible: The Secret Files. Uh, I reviewed it. Twenty eighteen. I remember I did the, I made the video in February and it came out in June. So that was a four month wait for that. And yeah, Kim Possible, one of the greatest cartoons of all time. Lion King three, also known as Lion King one and a half. Um, yeah, it's a movie. It's not a particularly great one, uh, but it's Lion King, so it's watchable. So yeah, no discs. Shocker. More Napalm and Side Party. Um, this is volume two to his second book. Um, I don't know why he didn't do the entire thing, but it's more George, so I will never complain. Unless it's his, unless it's his earlier stuff, where he's all clean then. I, I never really got into that. More House, nothing to say there. Disney's Greatest Hits. Um, fun collection of Disney music. The Cat in the Hat, read by Adrian Edmondson. I don't know why the fuck I own this. <laughs> Lego Software, um, it's a demo CD. I have no idea what this is for. The complete fifth series of Thomas and Friends. Also, it has the disc, yay! And it has another uh, another random disc, whatever. Oh, another American one. See, uh, sing Along and Stories. Does it have the disc? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with DVDs back then, and it's painful to think about. But yeah, basically the American version of... Um, Story and Song Collection. Except this this has mostly music um, instead of actual stories. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's in the title. Sing along stories. The kids didn't care back then. The Fox and the Hound Two. It's a pretty forgettable midquel. Um, that's the problem with midquels. They amount to nothing in the end. So, especially considering this was direct to video, it was cheap. So, yeah, no one cared about this back then. I don't think anyone cares about it now. Come ride the rails. Um, this, I was going to say, oh, this still got the security sticker on it. Uh, this may have been one of the last uh, chronologically that I owned. Um, I know I have Thomas's milkshake model. That's here somewhere. I remember that. And oh, this looks like season nine, actually. Um, cause respect for Gordon, Molly Spell's special, special, that's season nine. So yeah, I can already feel the disc, there's nothing in here. What is this? Business reply email. I guess this is if you want to return it. Oh no, wait, what is this? Subscribe and learn to Thomas and Friends magazine. Awesome. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All this for less than seven cents a day. Does anyone want it? Well, too bad. We've got more Simpsons, the complete fourth series. This one is clearly in better shape. And yeah, it looks like it has all the discs. Yep. You know how much I love the Simpsons. 
Oh, the complete first series on DVD. Now, I saw the disc earlier, but there's something in here. What have we got? What the fuck? Okay, we've got a blank CD and a disc for Kaspersky Internet Security. I hated this, this software. Because this thing would let off an alarm, like a klaxon alarm, like anything that you'd you would have it um, as a fire alarm in uh, public buildings, and I f I hate that software. I don't know why it's in here. Thomas's Sodor Celebration. We're basically seeing the rest of at this point. Yeah, we're we're, we're seeing every other American Thomas and Friends disc I have. <sighs> what is this? Um, Celebrating 60 years of Thomas Friends. This has to be 2005, so it's season 9. Um, or is it? Oh no, Thomas Saves the Day Fish, that's season 8. Okay. It must. Uh, then again, it was, it was released a year after, and I'm sure season 8 ran into, into 2005 anyway. Oh, we've got some Back to the Future here. Um, this is in bad shape. This looks like the 4-disc edition from 2005. Um... We've got three Back to the Future discs, and we got the Railway Stories volume. It was pressing the small engine. What volume was this? Um, volume four, I think. So yeah, I don't know why that's here. <laughs> I like the Railway Stories. Um, I mean, it had Michelangelo's. People complained he was narrating slowly, but. That'll be down to the voice director. They they would have they would have requested that, and it's right where it belongs, alongside some old Back to the Future discs. And I bumped the camera. And we've got um, three movie collection. Is this for all three movies? Evidently, but I'm missing the first one. Huh. Well, there you go. How bad are these? I mean, not that it matters, but. another thing to add, to add to the collection. Okay, time for something new. Uh, singing Kettle Blast Off. This was the last show I bought for the for the group. You know, I grew up with them. Uh, the first VHS tape I ever owned was Singing Kettle related. Blast Off from 2005. This was the last show I bought and yeah, it was all right. Um, yeah, I think I was just past my Singing Kettle phase at this point. Should have been, I was 12 years old at the time. Hey, the discs in here. Uh, you've got stuff for other shows. Um, Singing Cal Live, I did a review for, and it featured Jungle Party, Homie Band, all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't think that phone number is in service anymore. The the, the group went out of business a long time ago. Uh, more Max L, DVD, RW. I've been looking for this. Um, this is. Um, this is a bit like I made for a VH1, uh, a VH1 appearance Ringo Starr did in 1998. I've been looking for this. Uh, well, at least I now know what it is. Awesome, awesome. The, the, the show was never released on DVD. It was only on VHS. I found a copy of the show in a, on eBay. I would have bought it. It was for a reasonable price, but the seller uh, wouldn't ship outside America. So... Yeah, I'm happy with this. Put that aside. Uh, we've got Thomas and his friends help out. I know the disc is in, in here, but what do we have? Oh, it's come right the rails. Was nothing in that other box? Okay. We've got Cranky Bugs. There's nothing in here, but... Yep. It's a, it's a crap shoot, really. Sometimes the discs will be there, sometimes they won't. <sighs> and Track Stars. Um, I don't remember this one. What do we got? Um, yeah, this is more season eight. I think I cleaned out Walmart at this point with the amount of stuff I had. And the funny thing is, the when I did the original VHS and DVD collection of Thomas and Friends, I don't think I included everything. I don't know if I included this. Uh, yeah, I don't think I featured everything. Oh, man. Oh, the disc is in here. Awesome, awesome. We got Animaniacs Volume 1, Disc 2. Like I said, I loved Animaniacs. Uh, terrific show. Still haven't seen the revival. More Simpsons. Not much to say here. It's one of the earlier seasons, I think. Yep, Season 7. It's got good packaging, therefore it's good.
Anthony Horowitz Stormbreaker. Um, I owned the movie. Uh, I studied. I read this in high school. I think. Um, good book. I forgot I had it. <laughs> Professor Yu's Q&A, um, oh god, how old is this book? This is from Joe, at least. Yep, there it is. The Solar Stone and the Metal Coke. Jesus Christ, that's a blast from the past. Yeah, pretty cool. Keep that. Oh man, I've still got a lot to go through. Here it is, um, Wild Cry and Roadrunner, evidently volume one. I'm gonna have to consult the Golden Collection. I don't even remember how many of these there were. But yeah, Portuguese, Looney Tunes, Epic, I probably did own everything. We got Pokemon, Jirachi Wishmaker. Um, I was still into Pokemon at this point. Hone is still the most nostalgic for me. Um, but yeah, Pokemon sucks. Um, the movie was all right. Sing and Kill, Medieval Madness, and there's a disc in it. Yay. Yeah, this show was all right. Um, it was the first show to feature Kevin, uh, the one in the back playing Robin Hood. Yeah. Well, it won't get in the chocolate factory. It's one of those old clampy shells. Um, oh, the disc is in it. Awesome. This, these were, I think these were some of the early DVDs um, before they moved on to the plastic cases. Um, yeah, it's all cardboard and clampy. Gene Wilder's excellent. I, I prefer the Johnny Depp version of the movie. Um, my, my basic way of thinking about it is take out the fizzy lifting drinks, cut down on the music... Get rid of Slugworth, no one needs that. And then this could probably take it. But yeah, both both are good movies. I prefer the uh, Johnny Depp one, though. Pulling Together um, with Tom's Friends. This is a UK release. Uh, season 7, I believe. Yep. Awesome. Disc is in there. It's not like me. Oh, God damn it! More Looney Tunes. Um, Best of Daffy and Porky, I guess, Volume 2. Disc is in here. Awesome. Wait a minute, wait. The, the, the disc is scratched, so I can't tell. Oh, would it even still play at this point? Oh man, look at the, look at those scratch marks. Hold on, are they scratch marks? Yes, they are. <laughs> this disc ain't playing. This disc will probably not work. Stuart Little 2, uh, I don't think I own this, the first movie on DVD. Um, I own this on VHS. I talked about this in... Uh, post from Pat's big video, I believe, and possibly children's cartoon favorites. Um, yeah, I had Stuart Lil. Uh, the first two movies are good. Never saw the third one. Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's Beethoven. Oh, th this is, these must be my wife's. Uh, she loves the Beethoven movies. Uh, it's the first three, and yeah, Beethoven's all right. There's Mickey's Magical Christmas. Um, so there's no label on this. I might actually replit, swap out the one that's on the DVD shelf uh, with this case. This one, this one looks better, honestly. Because the first one came with stickers, and I fucking hate when stickers come on um, VHS tapes or DVDs. And uh, yeah, the Universal Monsters, um, they came with deep stickers about them being re dig digitally remastered, and I don't want that on VHS cases. It ruins the artwork. Okay, we got a two-pack for Singing Kettle. Um, Singing Kettle Christmas pa uh, Jungle Party and Homemade Band. I remember, I remember. I think Homemade Band has got a really damaged disc. Yeah, look at that. I don't know what happened here. I mean, I probably could clean it, but I don't... Oh, no, wait. What? Huh. Oh, no, I, it can be cleaned. What the hell happened to this, this thing? Did I spill something on this? How's Jungle Party? Oh, Jungle Party is also really bad. Ugh. Disgusting. Recess taking the fifth grade. Recess was a great show. Um, you know, honestly, considering the stuff I had, I had all three movies. I probably could have reviewed Recess at some point. And yeah, Recess is awesome. Oh, more. Yeah, Looney Tunes All Star Volume Three. And it's got a different case this time. It's the disc, the disc, and the cover look completely different. Um. Nothing to say at this point. I've made it clear. They're, they're the best DVDs I have, but there's nothing to say. Singing Kettle Deep Sea Adventures. I think I copied this on a VHS at one point. It was one of my... This may actually have been the show that... I think I copied this and Calling All Inches onto a Cartoon Cartoons uh, VHS tape. And I... I hate that I did that. And 
Yeah, you got more shows. Yep, awesome. Garfield 2, uh, not as good as the first one. Blues Brothers, great movie with John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. And there's a Bugs Bunny DVD. This will be The Wives. So I'm convinced, now that I've seen this, I think it's a Daffy Dog disc I have through there. I'm not going to add a clip. I'm not going to check. I'm just going to assume. The Polar Express, another mandatory Christmas movie. Tom Hanks is in it. Tom Hanks is awesome. More Thomas and Friends, Best of Percy. And we have a disc. Yay. And a very thorough booklet by the looks of it. What? Jesus Christ. There's such a fair bit in here. Well, what is this? You know, this ain't, this ain't bad, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good for a booklet, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on here. And I probably bought most of them. We got Mr. Bean, classic comedy uh, show. I haven't watched it in years, but yeah. It's a classic. We got Dana Carvey, Squirt Monkeys Tell No Lies. Um... Oh, they've got both the shows in here. I, I didn't know if I had the first show, Critics' Choice, but yeah, they're both in here. Nice. I haven't watched them. Um, well, it says right there it's in, included, but I haven't watched this in years. So I'll probably have to give that a try at some point. It's great to be an engine. I'm looking in the box right now. There are a lot of Thomas DVDs in here. Yeah, it's great to be an engine. 55 minutes. What is that? Season 8? Yep. You can teach yourself banjo. Um, actually, on that note, I need to cut to this. Yeah, quick cut away for a minute. Um, this is a banjo I've had since 2002, I think. Um, something in there, and... You know, I thought it was a cool-looking instrument. Um, I never learned to play it. Um, but, you know, it's there. I could, I had a guitar, too. Um, I gave that to a family friend, but my, res my response after that was, they can have the guitar, but I'm not giving away the banjo. So yeah, this thing, it's missing a string, um, and it's horrifically out of tune. So yeah, I can't play it, but I couldn't get rid of it. Anyway, back to it. So yeah, um, I, I also have a DVD of it. Uh, how to learn banjo, and I never learned. I, I just couldn't na get the, get the knack of stringed instruments. I I know drums. Um, I I played guitar at one point. I could never learn it. I could never figure out how how stringed instruments work. Um, I played a bit of keyboards. Um, I can play a bit of harmonica. I want to learn bass at some point. I feel like bass is an instrument I could handle. Um, but yeah, play banjo. I've never watched this. I could never learn it. we got two Thomas DVDs here, a bumper uh, party collection. I think this is a mixture. It looks like mostly season six with a bit of season seven. Uh, and of course, Engines to the Rescue, uh, 997 at Asda. I mean, for when it came out, that's a decent price for a DVD. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, is that it? Okay, hold on. What's this? It's totally over. Why are they advertising this on a Thomas DVD? Uh, enjoy a family magical holiday, Walt Disney Resort. Uh huh, uh huh, awesome. Why the fuck is this in here? Oh, wait. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, Disney Channel. We got Disney Channel, Disney Plus One with Kim Possible, Toon Disney. Speak of the Devil, Recess, um, Playhouse Disney. I talked about all these. Um,. It was in Kim Possible, The Secret Files. I'm pretty sure that's when I talked about Disney. And then I did um, subscription TV, and I spoke highly of Disney. Um, a lot of DVDs. Um, I mean, anything that's a main series, um, like a main Disney animation movie, like Peter Pan, The Aristocats, Fox and Hound, Lion King, Leo and Stitch, Treasure Planet, Pinocchio, I own those on Blu-ray. So, yeah, and it looks like they're advertising about six different versions of a Finding Nemo video game, and why it's in here, I don't know. And of course, Calling All Engines is a movie that most people don't like. I thought it was all right. Um, I still remember, um, I took this on holiday once. I think you, oh, I don't know where I was going, um, but I remember watching this on one of those uh, portable DVD players, um, it was similar to a PlayStation. Um, you put the disc in it, the screen folds up, it's like a 10-inch screen. 
yeah, I remember watching this at least once or twice uh, on the way there, and I didn't think it was bad back then. I don't care to watch it now. More Simpsons, nothing to say there. Discs are probably there. Oh, speak of the devil, we've got the leaflet for, for Kaspersky. Um, it works, but it's a pain in the ass. More house, nothing to say. There's the Little Mermaid, um, two disc edition. I don't think I'm going to need, if I'm going to keep any of these DVDs, I don't think I need the, the Disney ones anymore. I have them on Blu-ray, so I'm good. Oh, this is in Portuguese, but it's Mickey's House of Villains. Um, it's a short movie, I believe. It's only like 50 minutes. Um, but yeah, m f uh, many Disney villains take over the House of Mouse. And yeah, I'm surprised I, didn't, I don't talk about this uh, when I review Mickey's Magical Christmas, but honestly, I probably should have. I just forgot about it. What we have here is a bootleg Ringo Star show. It's from Russia, Moscow, Russia, in nineteen in August nineteen ninety eight. Um, yeah, this is probably the, one of the first Ringo things I ever bought. Well, first, um, it's a bootleg, so it's the first bootleg thing I ever bought. It's got Gary Brooker, Peter Frampton, Jack Bruce, Simon Kirk. Um, yeah, the excellent group of musicians. Okay, we've got a blank case with lots of filthy looking discs. Oh, Thomas and Friends, Trouble on the Tracks. Um, Sean talked about this um, in his last collection. Um, and I talked about this in a video that's currently blocked. Um, yeah, James has an accident. It's all about repairing him, repair, rescuing, repairing him. It's basically the video game version of Thomas and the, and the Breakdown Train. Uh, blank. Oh, the Great Festival Adventure. Um, this was the f the first Thomas and Friends video game I ever played. Um, this is probably the same disc as well, actually. Oh god, that is filthy. Um, I remember once, um, not really into the game, but I remember because there is an, is a language f um, choice in this. It's English, German, and French. I remember I accidentally installed this in German, and I, being a dumb uh, six year old child, I didn't know how to fix it. So yeah, this was fun. Um, not as good as Trouble on the Tracks, but yeah. Uh, and this is When Will Jesus Bring the Pork Chops? Um, it's George's uh, third um, comedy book and my favorite. The Perils of Penelope Pit Stop. Um, it's in Portuguese, so I bought, I buy a lot of foreign DVDs. Uh, this is a spin-off of Wacky Races. Uh, it stars uh, Penelope Pit Stop and the, for some reason the Ant Hill Mob. Um, yeah, I think that man there is um, Penelope's butler, I think, and I think if he kidnaps Penelope to inherit a fortune, and yeah, it's a, forg it's a forgettable show. Okay, many blank discs, uh, C blank CD, so DVD there, I could check that, blank DVD, CD, I don't really care about CDs. As DVDs are going to be more appealing. Oh, Animaniacs, um, Volume Two, Disc Three. I wish these were still in proper in proper packs, because otherwise they get lost. Uh, a really damaged CDR. Uh, oh, there's the disc for fishies. What is this? And why is this disc go? This this disc looks like it's actually. This looks like it's the disc is actually rotten. Hold on, get a good shot of that. Oh, it's filthy. Oh, there's another disc for Animaniacs, so reject discs and some DVDs to look at. Oh, we got truckloads of fun with a butchered case. Um, yeah, it's a standard Thomas and Friends DVD. It's not one of my favorites, not even close. Um, yeah, you've got the episode listings there. It's fine. Yeah. What? Oh God, it's even worse on the back. <laughs> Yeah, this DVD sits all right. We got Wayne's World, one of the greatest comedy movies of the 90s. Yeah, terrific movie, nothing to say. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2, Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure. It's terrible. Um, I recommend if you want an opinion on this movie, look up, I think he's, I think the channel's name is Hats Off Entertainment. He did a video on this and basically why it killed the National Lampoon label. We've got something from Tom and Jerry, um, Tom and Jerry Collection, Volume 8. Um, I don't know much of what's in this. I cannot read most of those events, most of those episodes. And Tom and Sherry, that, um, 
Pecos Pest, that's going to be the thing with Uncle Pecos. I cannot read Portuguese, so... It's a Tom and Jerry DVD. We've got a, a PC disc for Action Replay. Um, I don't think I ever used this, but I did have an Action Replay and I glitched my Pokemon games uh, into oblivion. We've got the disc for Cranky Bugs and other stories and the disc looks awful. <sighs> And this is probably my original copy of the Simpsons movie, and it's in awful condition. But yeah, Simpsons movie, one of the greatest comedy, one of the greatest animated movies ever made. We've got a random um, slipcase with uh, DVDs. Oh, it's the George Carlin show. Um, yeah, George Carlin had a sitcom in the nineties. It's he didn't he didn't enjoy it that much. Um, and the show never got a, an actual DVD release, so I had to buy bootleg discs, and they're VHS recordings, and they look like shit, so... Yeah. I have it, but... Whatever. And we've got Bugs Bunny's 1001 Rabbit Tales. Uh, had I known I had this, I would have used this uh, disc to do the review when I did Bugs Bunny movies. Oh well. And to finish out box number three, I got some drumsticks. Yeah, I have a massive collection of drumsticks, and I don't even know if these are drumsticks, but they're in there. And oh no, they're, they're for the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. So they, may... I don't even, I don't think these are drumsticks actually. But they're full of glitter, and yeah, that's trippy. There's a the Yellow Submarine in there. Does he actually move? You'd have to tilt it, but. I can see the submarine in there. Oh no, there he does. He, he moved. Yeah, that's cool. And we're still not done with Thomas and Friends. We've got Little Engine's Big Day Out. I don't know if this is British or American. Actually, it's got you on it, so that, that means it's probably British. Oh god, I think... I think this is season nine, I think. Yeah, it's a thing. It exists. Of more interest, this is a, a, a Back to the Future novelty license plate. Um, I mean, I don't drive, um, but this was pretty cool. I don't know when I got this, um, but yeah, this is it's very bent as well. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, that, that goes, that's going in the collection, obviously. We've got H.G. Wells' The Time Machine. This is the 1960 version with um, Rod Taylor. Uh, it's a fun movie. Oh, and we got something about uh, not pirating DVD movies. Oh boy. But yeah, the uh, H.G. The, the Wells' Time Machine. Uh, dated special effects, but great movie. Hey look, I found the case for Thomas's trusty friends. Hey look, I found the case for Bugs Bunny's 1001 Rabbit Tales. Is our disc in here? Yes there is. It's the wrong disc. We got more re more Rescue Me and Dukes of Hazard. We've got uh, 3D Ultra Train Down Deluxe. This, I played this game a lot. Um, once again, I was a train nut. You watch Thomas and Friends, you get into these and... Fun game, fun game. This is Ringo Starr's VH1 Storytellers. I believe, in, in my opinion, this is the best live album he's ever put out and... Um, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a great CD, um, yeah. <laughs> we got the Jungle Book 40th Anniversary Edition. Yeah, Jungle Book. And it's got discs. Nice cover. Yeah, bonus material. Yeah, Jungle Book, great movie. One Foot in the Grave. This is a sitcom uh, my, my cousin used to watch, so... He, I don't know if this is his disc or if he just talked me into buying it. I've not watched One Foot in the Grave in years. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've seen the show, you know what it's like. Monty Python, Live at the Hollywood Bowl. I don't care for Monty Python. I don't know why I have this. Simon Kirk, from Bad Comp drummer from Bad Company, Lessons from a Legend. Yeah, Simon Kirk, uh, terrific drummer. Um, yeah, this is mostly just him playing songs from Bad Company. No disc, shocker. Life with Mikey with Michael J. Fox. Uh, fun movie. F um... From 1983, uh, he plays a talent scout and he recruits um, 
uh, troublemaking teenager because he, he can he's, he can spot acting talent and yeah, it's a movie. We have the disc for the original railway stories. Um, yeah, this was this was this was great. This is the three railway engines to it was three books for every volume. So this would go up to um, James the Red Engine, and yeah, I loved it. Yep, here it is. I talked about this earlier. Thomas's milkshake model. I'm pretty sure this is the latest. I uh, in the DV, in the Thomas and Friends DVD chronology. This was the last one I picked up. Uh, three thr- six thr- thrilling episodes. I don't think I enjoyed this one that much. Um, yeah, this was probably when I was on my way out. And oh, and wait, hold on. It's still got the sticker thing on the bottom. I don't think I watched this one that much. No, there's a la- there's a leaflet in there. Hold on, what is this? Uh, play, learn, and shop at Thomas and Friends. Yeah, play games by our garbage product. It's yeah. I don't think I watched this DVD that much. This, there's still tape on the side of, on the side of the 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 leaflet. So I don't know. Maybe it's a good release. I doubt it because I can I, I can imagine what Thomas and Friends that fans think, but I didn't think much of it. Tony Hawk Pro Skater Three. Um, yeah, it's a fun game. Um, I'm, I, I don't think I was that good at it. Um, my, my wife used to be a skateboarder, so. I think she enjo- she enjoys these games better than I do. Um, I know there was a new one that was out recently for the PlayStation. Oh God, when did it come out? It was either for the PlayStation Four or PlayStation Five, and if that's the case, it was probably out on Xbox as well. I can't remember. Hey, look, more Looney Tunes. This would be what the original disc were. I'm losing my mind. I've looked through so many DVDs at this point. Looney Tunes, great. Uh, Walt Disney movie Snow Dogs. Never watched it, so. Maybe it's good. I don't know. There's huskies on it, so my wife has probably seen it. Yeah, because she used to own a husky. Her, the dog that chewed up the old heart that I showed off earlier, he was a husky, so... Yeah, so she has probably seen this movie. More Looney Tunes, Sylvester and Tweety. Awesome. Robin Hood Special Edition. Robin Hood was fun. Not one of my favorites, though. Leland Stitch 2, Stitch has a glitch. Uh, two tickets for selected US destinations. Awesome. Uh, offer ends th- 30th of September 2005. Damn it, so I can't enter. Um, yeah, Leland Stitch is one of my all time favorites. And I remember when this came out, even back then, I didn't like it that much. Um, yeah, all you need to know. Oh, there's a poster in here. What is this? My scene goes to Hollywood. Well, I have no interest in that. Yeah, there's that ticket thing they were talking about. Awesome. Yeah, all you need to really know about this movie is Stitch dies at the end, but gets revived uh, through the bullshit love of Ohana. And it is not... They never refer to... They never allude to this in the first movie, and it's never brought up in in the TV show or Leroy and Stitch. It is an irrelevant sequel, really. Now, here we go. Um, My original uh, DVD for Thomas and the Magic Railroad, it's one of those clampy cardboard shells. Is there a disc in it? No. But this would have been... I talked about this when I talked about Thomas and the Magic Railroad. This would have been the DVD I went to when I I, I introduced her to the movie. Um, I talked about it. We did um, a Mara Wilson marathon, and yeah, it's not that bad of a movie. I mean, it's a shit movie, but it wasn't as bad as... I imagined it being in. Yeah, there's a Blu-ray version of out, out there. I'm not in a rush to get it, and you know me, I don't care about any direct, any original uh, food to the movie. We've got a collection of Pierce Brosnan and James Bond movies. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all there. Um, yeah, I've been meaning to sit down and watch the James Bond movies for a long time, but there's like, I don't even know how many there are, and. Honestly, I just got done with Looney Tunes, and I'll get there at some point. Looney Tunes was exhausting to get through. We've got my original copy of Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Probably the first one I watched out of the entire uh, American collection. Hey, the disc is in here. Awesome. Uh, We've got a leaflet for the, the actual DVD. We've got more uh, releases available. Yeah. God, I want this this tour to be done. 
Together on the tracks, another Thomas and Friends. Yeah, season nine. Yeah. More Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, like I say, great show. I'm exhausted. I want to be done. Now this should be interesting. This is my original cartridge for Pokemon Crystal. This was this, this this is probably this is probably my second favorite Pokemon game behind Pokemon Emerald and I broke the back of the cartridge. I don't know why. Um I don't know what happened here. But I remember my my cousin and I both had Pokemon Crystal and this was how we figured out who had who had Whose version was which? Um, at my, the back of my cartridge is broken. And you know, the funny thing is, despite the the circuit board basically basically being exposed, it still worked. Um, I remember the Game Shark I had worked for Pokemon Gold and Silver. It didn't work for Crystal, so I had to beat this game legitimately. Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. Yep. Um, nothing. Don't care. Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Um... This is a really ugly movie. As you can, t th this isn't just a really bad um, uh, DVD image. This is actually how the movie looks. It's really, really low budget and really ugly. And yeah, it sucks. We got more discs. CDR. Luke is talking to. It's an alright movie. CD. CD. George Carlin show. Disc three. Oh, an arcade pool too. Uh, I was a pool and snooker fan. I still am, and yeah, this this is basically a, this is basically an old version of those old pool games you see on Facebook. We got Sing Cal Silly Circus and Toy Town. Um, yeah, that's what it is. We got another Animaniacs disc. We got Jump In, uh, a Disney movie from two thousand and seven. It's got Corbin Blue from High School Musical. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's actually a good movie. It still holds up. Uh, Kingpin. This is a comedy movie. Um, Woody Harrelson, Randy Quaid. Controversial um, people these days. I I haven't watched this movie in years, but yeah, it's there. Maybe it's fun. Okay, we're almost there. Keep it together, G. Keep it together. Uh, Best of James. There's a disc in here. It's sing along with stories. Yay. Okay, I'm exhausted. This is a giant shoebox full of old DVDs. We've got. Tom and Jerry Volume Whatever. Um, we've got a Will Ferrell Best of Saturday Night Live. We've got Pixar. I've been I was looking for this for a while um, because this is all old um, Pixar short films. Uh, they're they're great. They're a lot of fun. Um, I I thought I lost the DVD, so I bought it on Blu-ray and. We've got Microsoft Train Simulator. We've got Kim Possible. So the drama. We got a, a second volume of Simpsons Christmas. Uh, Microsoft Train Simulator. Uh, oh, Trouble in the Tracks. That's in there. We got another version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Awesome. We got the cases for Animaniacs. I'm going to assume there's no discs in here. Of course there isn't. That's there. Oh, God damn it! More of them. Tales from the Tracks, there's no disc in here, I can tell. We've got George Carlin doing it again. And we've at the bottom there, we've got Hook. Yeah, it's a Robin Williams movie directed by Steven Spielberg. Awesome. Okay, the house is getting to become a serious mess, so we're going to have a quick look through these. These are all um, PC games. Um, stuff, stuff. Oh, this is a disc from... Uh, Thomas and Friends of the Early Years. I was probably missing this one when I did the review. Yeah, just old PC games that I'm tired and I don't have the patience to get through all these. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. This this should be interesting. Um, one of my favorite PC games and one of my favorite games of all time is... Um, oh, shoot. I dropped the disc. Uh, is... Um, to one of people's jungle games. Uh, they put out... Um, something called Hot Shots. It was basically abridged versions of the game. You basically got like two. They basically split the entire game off into smaller and uh, to smaller packages. So this had like two games of it, and there's another one here. Yep, Tony Pinball's Jungle Pinball. So basically, they abridged it. And awesome. Yep, lots of old games in here. 
What's this? Is this another one? Oh, Lion King Activity Center. Played that a lot. Yeah. There's the old fella himself, Tonka Construction. I don't know if this is my original one, because I'm pretty sure I owned multiple versions, multiple copies of it. This is another thing I, I accidentally put in German. Um, I don't know why I had a thing for changing the language, but... Yeah, and now just a box of random shit. Um, more Looney Tunes, great. That'll be the missing Too Hot for TV thing from The Simpsons. What is this? Oh, Saturday Night Live, season five. I can put that away. More Looney Tunes, George Carlin. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff. There's a headless, well, I think it's Goku or Gohan. Um, I don't know where, his head is probably in the box here, but. Oh, God, there's just random garbage in here. Oh, there's the head, there's the head. Yeah, it looks like Goku. Um, Super Saiyan 4, if I know that right. My wife is going to kill me if I get that wrong. But yeah, that's in there. Oh, it's insane. It's insane. And then we just got some other stuff in here. and Ringo Starr, Live of the Greek Theater. I own about three copies of that for some reason. The Railway Stories. Yep. Yeah, nothing important. What is that? Is this? Oh, it's my cartridge for Pokemon Emerald. Awesome. Yeah, um, my favorite Pokemon game, my favorite RPG of all time. Yeah, Pokemon Emerald. Awesome. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. So yeah, that's everything, and my house is now an outstanding mess. Oh god, I've got to put this away now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Um, stay tuned for rec uh, Recordable Fridays. They are still going. And stay tuned for Video Memories.